It's it's just a couple of habaneros, Uncle Bokow. So they said. Guys, I would like to introduce you to the Reaper Nero. This grew next to a red habanero, but the seeds are from the Reaper plant. So you tell me. Now, we cannot be 100% because it is an accidental cross. So there could have been something else. Uh, there could have been, it could have been another pepper, but we're pretty sure that that's what it what is. Tasting? I haven't tasted it yet. You Listen, have never eaten that pepper. Never eat this pepper. This is brand spanking new. And I have one for I you. Hope I hope that have, lights your ass up. It's probably going to. This, <laughs> one, I'm, this one's for Mrs. Bulkout for her to eat the whole thing. And then this is, I saved for her lemon go salpino from yesterday. But this one, I'm going to harvest the seeds from because it's riper. Um, yeah, this one's riper, and I want the seeds from it. So, <clears throat> Reaper Nero. Possibly. Uh, I'm 90% sure. So, um, no, no other phenos. Now, somebody did cross a orange habanero. This is a red habanero reaper. Somebody did cross an orange habanero with a reaper. It came out looking like a reaper, but it was orange. So, and, and that's, and I, I, the picture is on Reddit, so I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, I, I mean, I believe the guy. Um, but as far as we know, no one's ever done this, so. Got the, I'm scared to end this bite. <laughs> Sweetness. Of a red habanero, take a bite. You, know, I know it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. I'm not down a percent or nothing. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched both of them. Tell me that ain't red habanero. Tastes just like it. Tastes nothing like a reaper. Seeds came out of a freaking Carolina reaper. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like a reaper. Really, it tastes Sweet. maybe more fruity than a habanero, and it's, it's freaking that good. That thing's really hot. Oh, she must have bit more than me because I haven't. No, I'm not I, say, I got no heat yet. I'm not saying I'm not saying crazy hot, but if compared to a habanero, it's hot. It's kind of like a habanero times two. What I got so far. Yeah, red habaneros don't even burn me at all. Not one bit. Orange habaneros, if it's a good one, they'll give me yeah, a little Yeah, freaking hab red habaneros taste like bell peppers to me. I hate them. This one's got enough heat to, and, to not be Give me a boring, knife, honey. But it, and it has fruitiness. That give me I a knife. I want to cut, I wanna cut this side off and show people what the placenta look like. All right, Mrs. Bokaz, give me a knife. Sorry. I got breakfast here. I got to make sure I eat because I'll get cap cramps. It's not hot yet. Um... I mean, I'm detecting it, but I don't care what knife it is. Mm -hmm. I want to show you guys the inside of it, but I don't want to damage the seeds. This one. Yep. All right, hold on. So, you can see by the placenta that it's definitely not just a habanero. Um, although it doesn't have a big placenta, it's got that oh my god it smells like a reaper on the inside give me that give me give me some to eat hold on here this is bokeh's taking a big chunk but you, you didn't get the placenta i'm about to get some placenta right here i do want those seeds though all right let's see that's, that's a good pepper it's thick walled like a red hob has absolutely no floralness or bitter like a reaper. But it smells like a reaper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting the heat. I don't know what reaper smells like, but this is... I don't know. Now I'm getting like a habanero times three or four. Definitely. Not... Definitely not as hot as a reaper. Like you it guys tastes know, way better than both of them. It tastes better. I hate way better than a reaper, red hot or I reaper. I don't like red habanero. Yeah, exactly. I got some red hobs in the fridge, actually. It, ta it tastes different than most red pods because it does. It tastes so much like a habanero. Mm hmm It tastes like well, it was a red sabina, so a red sabina habanero, right? But it tastes like it, but it's better. 
It tastes. It's, it tastes more like more like a maybe a yellow pod wood. I'm not getting no bitterness off it, which is crazy. Eat that last little bite if you want. Or an orange pie, I guess. Not that hot though. Not that hot. And I didn't know. I didn't expect it to be. I, I mean, know. This tastes take... like one of the better or red hot, hot red yeah. red peppers I've had. It doesn't. I guess it doesn't taste like yellow or orange, but I mean it. They usually taste pretty good. Mm hmm When you take something, you know, I mean, sometimes yeah, you put a pepper that's not that hot with one that is. You get something that's crazy hot. Other times, you get, you know, in the middle, man, the Scoville. There's a lot of crosses like that. It's so crazy, guys. It is, like, this, it, it, this is, somebody could market this as a new breed of habanero, and people would go nuts over it. I'll tell you that. Where's the Scoville on it? Probably 600,000, 700 max. Not as hot as a ghost pepper. Um, but a red habanero? That's as hot as a ghost between pepper. Between 200,000. That's as hot as a ghost pepper? Think so? I think. I mean, maybe. Maybe about the same as ghost. a ghost pepper. Yeah. In my opinion. All right, now you got me thinking, Chas. My, I mean, I, that was pretty hot. We didn't need the percent because I want to save the seeds. Come on, let's go. Here. No, I'm about to go running. I'll puke. That was my. I oh, haven't. We gotta go to the doctor. We gotta go to the eye doctor anything. in half hour. So we gotta get the kids ready too. Oh, it smells even stronger. So, yeah. All right, I, I gotta get burned here. Now, that's a different pepper. It's the same plant pepper off the same plant. But I'm eating. This is. You can see I had two of them there. This one's not ripe yet. It's still got some orange to it, okay? The one that I'm saving the seeds from, because it's better to save seeds from a fully ripe pepper. This one was darker red, and it was a little bit softer. That's ready for seeds. Maybe, maybe half of it. So this one, I'm tasting the um, slight floral notes of a reaper. That one tastes like a reaper, not 100% like a reaper, and it's hotter. But I also just ate um, half a placenta, so I didn't eat any of the placenta on this. So, that's what's crazy. There's a lot of times the red habaneros, oh yeah, now I'm getting a nice burn. A lot of times the red habaneros will not have, yeah, I'm burning the red habanero will not have any heat. I got some in my fridge right now. I can eat 10 of them, no problem. But when you get in the placenta, that's when you get a little heat. That's exactly what happened with this pepper. It's got some heat in the rest of the pepper, not much. With a reaper, whether you're in the placenta or not, you're gonna get heat. Um, whew. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I respect it. I just, I seriously thought, I was like, wow, that thing's not that hot. And it's not crazy. I, trust me. Um, if I bit into that much of a hell hammer or something, I, I'd be in trouble right now. Um, some monster mash on my breakfast. Mmm. Yeah, we were pretty sure what this was. <clears throat> um, I did talk to Troy Primo yesterday, you know, where he was like, yeah, man, you don't know 100% what it is um, unless you did it scientifically yourself. And I told him, man, I play, dude, I don't care. I got a couple of crosses that were from last year. Some I know there was like two plants over here. They cross pollinated. I'm 90% sure what they are. Other ones. They were around 10 plants off the of pheno color variants, 50-50 chance that I can call it. And there's other ones. I have absolutely no clue what they are. Um, so, and there's some, there's a couple of peppers I took seeds from 
a pepper because I couldn't get my hands on the seeds. And I grew them out this year. Now, either the phenol's different or there's something different about them. So they're they're an accidental cross, which is fine with me. I love I love stuff like that. I'm always seeking out new peppers, guys. So um 90. I'm, I mean, I think my 90 went to about 95% sure. That's exactly what that is. There's no no question in my mind. Yeah. Oh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the Pasada tastes like a Reaper. Not as bad. Damn, that's hot. Woo! So I guess it's like a habanero. Eating this part has hardly any heat, but when you get to the pasena, it's got the heat. Um, but there's no floralness till you get to the pasena. I'm freaking happy right now. I'm happy to have something like that. <clears throat> because this could... This could end up uh, being a really good pepper for seasoning, for powder. Um, I am not going to be giving seeds away to this because I do want to try to stabilize it. I will keep the seeds from this. Um, and hopefully this one didn't cross with something because I had it next to other plants, which, you know... Um, if I see something else come out next year, then oh well, so what? Maybe I'll keep seeds from a couple of pods to make sure I um don't completely lose the strain. But what I'll do is next year I'll grow some out with some nets over it. <clears throat> make sure nothing else crosses with that. I'm burning good right now. Woo! Um Maybe work to F5, F6, and then let people go nuts with it. Of course, there are a couple people that will be trying one of these. Uh, they're people I trust, and they will eat the whole pod. They won't save seeds from it or nothing. I'm not too picky, man. I'm not a crosser. I don't really care. If I, somebody gets something cool for me, they keep the seeds. So be it. Um, but because of the fact that I want to make sure this pepper... Is what I just ate. I am going to attempt to stabilize it to the, my best of ability. Very satisfied with that. So, yeah, Reaper Narrow. Imagine that. <laughs> Uncle Bull Cow. Thank you guys for watching.